So I'm Summer Gentry and I finished the fellowship in 2005. I'm now an associate professor in the math department at the Naval Academy. What was most attractive about the DOE Computational Science Graduate Fellowship was the computational science aspect of it. Being a communicator, being a translator who could take these computational science tools and really put them in the service of an application answering a question that needed to be answered. The first project I worked on that had a sort of national impact was on kidney paired donation. The idea that if you have a loved one that you want to donate a kidney to but you're incompatible with them, there might be another family out there and they have a donor incompatible with their intended recipient, but maybe their donor can donate to your loved one and you can donate to their loved one. So I worked on optimization algorithms for finding the largest number of these matches so that the most people could get transplanted. And we wrote the first paper on using optimization algorithms for this that appeared in the Journal of the American Medical Association and really did lead to the biggest increase in living donation that has been seen. If I were giving advice to someone applying for a CSGF program, I would say that they need to be strong in their own identity as a computational scientist because sometimes the department structure or the academic um, world tries to put people in boxes that computational science doesn't necessarily restrict itself to. And so it helps if you're driven by your own internal sense of what you want to be doing with computation and how you want to be working to change the world and what you, maybe what your application area is. Regardless of what someone tells you is the right project to be working on or the right journal to publish in, to say, hey, this is the thing that I care about. And really caring about your project and your work is what will make you successful ultimately.